What is up guys and welcome back to the channel guys found another one we are here with Europeans how can you instantly spot an American tourist this is gonna be interesting because all the videos I've seen uh, even from the channel especially Walter's world and the don'ts of different countries and stuff they were saying hey don't wear those college t-shirts uh, don't just walk around in like sandals, socks, white socks with sandals type things and go, going on uh, those different things like that, right? So this is going to be interesting. Uh, I think sweats and uh, and I'm a, I'm that type of guy, you know. I don't mind being in some sweats, a hoodie, depending on the weather, of course. But definitely some sweats. Don't mind wearing some uh, slides or something. I mean, nowadays what's popular, they, they, everybody wearing Crocs. So that, that might show that you really America because... A lot of American kids, but people in general, they in the Crocs. They're in the Crocs. So we finna check this out. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Send me down more recommendations. And let's see. Let's see. Europeans are ready. What is the day giveaway American tourists is in your country? Europeans of Reddit. What is a dead giveaway for American tourists in your country? My great great grandfather was from Ireland. <laughs> white socks, not the white ankle side. high white socks with running shoes and shorts, theme t-shirt, baseball hat even when it's Ooh. not sunny, fanny pack, then again, I saw loads of Brits like this in Florida, Dang. maybe it's just the international uniform of tourists. <laughs> Talking to people, I live in Sweden, we don't talk to people here. Okay. Unless you speak the language there's not much you can language. do to hide where you're from, just be American. Your exotic to us cause you sound like the TV. <laughs> Your exotic to us cause you sound like the TV. I don't know why but that made me really happy. I used to work at a tourist information in northern Norway. I would talk to tourists all day, help them and sell them some small figurines of trolls as well. It's stereotypical, but Americans get so interested and excited by other people it's insane. <laughs> I've traveled all over the world, and never have I met another people who actually really cares about complete strangers. It's nice. I had a family <laughs> just asking me for directions, and the dad started talking about the figurine crap we were selling, and I casually mentioned that it's cute for tourists, but my grandfather used to scare us with stories of them, and the dad just ignited. He was so stoked about hearing about my grandfather, and I told him some of the stories. He was ecstatic. And at the end he asked how my granddad was now. I said something like oh he died 10 years ago. And the whole family Dang. actually got kinda sad. So for me Americans are like crazy interested in you. Your story. And super emotional. If you travel to France and get to talking to someone. And casually mention that your granddad died 10 years ago. They will toss Dang. you a sorry for your loss but not really care. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh my god that is that. Hey, I can say definitely, that is definitely how it is because, I mean, you can go to a store, like if you're European, you can come here to America and get on a topic and talk to somebody for hours just about, no lie, no lie, then it's, it's like you, within a conversation, you're going to probably get out two to three, maybe four different emotions, you know, you might be happy, excited or whatever, Talking and something come up, it might be a sad thing, you know. So I feel, you know, so it's a lot of emotion come in when you conversating with an American for sure. If you are an American, G, L the high tones of your voice when you greet someone. Oh, hi, 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 glass <laughs> shatters. Also, I hate <laughs> this robot voice is over here tripping. Um, hi, 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 hi. Oh, hi, 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 glass <laughs> shatters. Also, I hate talking to oh the ones who God. end every sentence on a high note, like everything is a question. <laughs> Compared to Europeans, Americans have a way greater sense of wonder of things. It's pretty cool. Europeans might take for granted the ability to take weekend breaks anywhere in Europe, whereas an American family might take one trip in their lifetime to Europe. Mm. I think it's great. I sit on the steps of St. Paul's Cathedral during my lunch break and barely look at it. While there is an American standing opposite me amazed that <laughs> this is older than their country, it reminds me that it's pretty cool to live in London. Yeah. Also, why would you want to blend in, be respectful of other cultures, try and learn, but I think people should embrace where they're that's from. That's true, that's true, you know. In Ireland it's the very thought out and planned outfit. <laughs> Windbreakers, rain jackets, fanny packs, often on older I Americans. I wonder who'd be wearing fanny packs. Like... I mean, I'm not a fanny pack type of guy. 
Well, I, I'm, uh, now that I think about it, a lot of people do. <laughs> now that I think about it, you go to like, I guess like amusement parks and like places where you're going to be doing a lot of walking and stuff. People do work for any fact. I mean, Tourists, guides to island books, maps, and finally the confused look on their faces. Your accent. And your volume. <laughs> Hearing Long Beach's dope as frick in that unmistakably Californian accent was the biggest giveaway I've ever heard or seen. <laughs> IT is dope as frick. <laughs> Actually most Americans you don't notice. It's just the stereotypical loud brash ones that you do. Uh. I remember one time visiting a castle that was mostly ruins. I suddenly hear a young kid with a strong US accent. Man. Mom. This place is new. <laughs> Very funny. Don't worry. For the most part Europeans love having Americans and will be interested in where you are from. Be respectful. Be willing to learn about something new and have a good time. That goes for all tourists in foreign countries. Not just Americans. Facts, facts. That's the best part of traveling also. I'm facts. an American. I can agree with that because we went to visit, uh, we went to SeaWorld, we were in San Antonio, we visit the Alamo and... You know, we're just reading the stuff about everything that happened at the Alamo and so, you know. I me personally I thought it was a I thought it was a very quick tour in the little Alamo, but it's just cool to see like dang, this is a part of history type. Thing. So you gotta embrace it type, you know, and not just complain and you know. American. Definitely agree. That's the best part of traveling also. I'm an American, but I've been living in France for a bit. If I see a group of two, three plus girls with long straightened hair, looking like they've spent more than five minutes on their makeup, and are wearing tall <laughs> boots, instead of short ankle ones, they are American. <laughs> I've never been wrong. French women tend to have a I didn't try to look good, but I do think going on, they also almost exclusively wear short boots. I'm not sure why. I was in Paris with a group of girls before Christmas. We got dressed up one night to go out in the town. We're Irish BTW, and we felt like fecking drag queens. <laughs> Accent, hard to miss. Volume, you can hear them a mile and a half Dang. away. Coupled with accent, acts as an early warning indicator. In Ireland, wearing of Irish themed clothing or hats, attempting to pay in dollars. I crap you not, <laughs> I have watched this happen more than a few times. There are other indicators I will cover later. I have an exam now. All right, I see this. Uh, I never asked because I always wondered, like, if for me, example, let's use me as an example. If I were to come to Europe or, you know, I think Sweden uses Swedish crown. If I were to come, is there, like, ATMs I could use to, like, get euros and different things like that that I need? That I can use, or how how will I go about that? Will I have to get the apps that everybody use and just pay for things that way? I need y'all to let me know. This is a serious question. I'm trying to prepare myself because I haven't watched no videos about how to you know turn my American money to euro and all those things when I get there. You know, so these are serious questions I'm trying to prepare myself for. It's it. a rarity of seeing young Americans in Europe for some reason so the average American we see here is the 40 plus slightly fat years old <laughs> oh American God. with a very loud and slow English. Also the neck for some reason. Americans and Canadians can go spend a week at an all inclusive resort in the Caribbean for less than the cost of airfare to Europe. Most opt for this. <laughs> I experienced this while being a waiter in a fairly popular restaurant in Nuremberg, Germany. We had a lot of American tourists there ordering bratwurst and sauerkraut. Mm. You could always distinguish them from other tourists by the fact that they all seem to think all Germans are obliged to wear lederhosen all day and everywhere. D it was hilarious how often I've been asked why I didn't wear them to work. It was a fancy place so we all wore white shirts black slacks. But that apparently made no sense to the Americans. <laughs> what? That was the adorable thing. Far worse were the tourists that treated our waiting staff like they were retarded. <laughs> I spent a part of my life in London so I have basically no German accent while speaking English. Still there were multiple occasions where Americans would immediately stop speaking in a normal voice when I came to their table and speak to me like one would with a kid. That's mentally handicapped. What? Even after I answered them mm. in proper English they would sometimes talk to each other normally and then addressing me like was handicapped again. That's crazy. Do not do that crap. Don't get me wrong. 
There's other tourists like for example the French who more often than not just expect everyone they encounter to speak French but at least they would still talk to you like a sensible human being. These are the same people that talk to their servers like they're handicapped back home. <laughs> 2. Source. I'm so sick of waiting on people. <laughs> you hear them before you see them. <laughs> Apart from accent, I believe it's probably that you are all by and large polite, friendly and optimistic. All rare commodities where I live, Australian and London. I always try to be open-minded and polite, if I'm in your country, have no idea what I'm doing and only have a loose grasp on the language, I'm probably already kind of a burden and nobody is going to show me any neat crap if I'm yelling <laughs> and being a dog. That's true, that's true, that's why, I, I, that's how I am myself, like, I, I, I gotta be polite, I gotta be kind and, you know, cause, if I don't have the knowledge and information on something, like, I can't expect to, like, just act out and try to get information that people go people would look at people look at you crazy down here too like i've seen it happen man. like I, I just seen a video of a woman in starbucks going off on starbucks starbucks workers like you gotta be super super mad at starbucks because like usp united usa americans love starbucks like you got to be super super like like your day somebody made you mad to the point you took it out on starbucks like that's that's unreal that's unheard of but yeah there are some people like they'll try to get information and just do it the wrong way kind of a burden and nobody is going to show me any neat crap if i'm yelling and being a dong canadian here i have lived in europe and honestly americans get a bad rep Sure a bunch of them have no idea where the million plus city I live in Canada is on a map, but the other 90% doesn't are actually very nice people. Americans, 10% ruin their reputation for everyone okay. else. To fit in, don't wear board shorts with flames <laughs> on them or wife beat a basketball jersey around. Not the basketball if football jersey. Is showing on a nearby TV the males of the American tourist group show no interest. Oh. A major one once you get to actually talk to an American is how they treat Europe as a single entity. I'm in Europe and I need to figure out the European way to do things so Europeans will like me. Guess what? The things you learned in Amsterdam and Stockholm really won't hold up in, say, Portugal. Pretty much no one self identifies as European. I know it's common on Reddit to start to question with Europeans of Reddit, but that's already a dead giveaway. European nations are not comparable to US states in this way. The cultural differences are much larger and people will take offense if you try to group them together as Europeans. Okay, definitely if you're looking that. to blend in, start talking about individual countries. I don't think it's that we view Europe as a single entity, it's more that, when we travel to Europe, we typically visit several countries. If I'm taking a trip to England, France, and Germany, I say I'm visiting Europe. If I'm just going to France, I say I'm visiting France. Okay, fact, fact, fact. I hope I don't be too rude, but once I saw a US tourist in a German McDonald's, and boy was he furious. He ordered exactly 20 packs of ketchup Dang. with his three burgers and needed to pay for them. In the US it seems normal to get ketchup and mayo for free as much it as is. you like. Here you have to pay for the crap. So he was ranting about some euros he had to pay. But I have to admit he was pretty clever. He was arguing with the manager about the packet prices while eating the unpaid burgers. <laughs> After he was finished he just left a confused manager with an empty tray behind the counter. Yay. Comma exactly. German confirmed. That is insane. First of all, what? 20 packs of ketchup. McDonald's burgers ain't that good. It... That goes to show McDonald's burgers ain't that good if you gotta put 20 packs of ketchup on some burgers. Like, first of that, like you eating a tomato sandwich at this point, a tomato burger, you might as well just, like, that makes no sense. No fries, just a burger? That's insane. I bet he probably paid, what, 10 euros for 20 packs of ketchup? While on a trip, I met a sweet young couple in a small bed and breakfast in Scotland. They were really nice and talkative and we chatted for quite some time. I think I instantly recognized them as Americans because they were just a bit too nice for me as a German. <laughs> Don't jump on the grumpy German bandwagon I think it's very exaggerated. But they were just so overwhelming happy, always grinning, giggling, that they just fitted perfectly in my American <laughs> stereotype. Everything they visited was just great and awesome. 
It was really funny. So no fat and loud American <laughs> tourist stereotype for me. It was really a nice cliche. Yelling. Does anyone here speak English? <laughs> I had an American Oh ask me my god. Do people actually yell that? Yelling. Do people actually yell this? Oh my. Y'all gotta let me know if people actually. If you heard some oh, American yell this before in Europe. That is crazy. Does anyone here speak English? I had an American ask me if there were any hobbits in the city, or if they all lived out in the country. I couldn't for the life of me tell if he was kidding or not. So I told him they usually avoided the city as their foot hair gets stuck in escalators. <laughs> New Zealand if hobbits didn't give it away. 95% sure he was joking. After all the negative comments, Americans are actually some of the nicest people to meet okay. when you're abroad. I definitely agree with this. Every time I've spoken to American tourists in London they have always been very friendly and lovely to speak to. That's good, that's Generally good. they're old, don't seem to get many young yank tourists, and they have white socks pulled up <laughs> really high. I've met a bunch of young yanks on my travels, but generally they do the city thing. Staying in hostels and hanging with the backpacking hostel crowd. Barcelona in particular had a sizable American tourist population. You're like the Chinese. You take pictures of everything. Dang. <laughs> As an American living in Europe, everything, but mostly volume. But here's the thing. It's okay not to blend in. You'll meet more people and have more fun. Facts, Sweet facts. here. American tourists tend to be louder than other, but they also tend to be very nice and open-minded. One more thing about American tourists that stands out is their talk about visiting Europe. Europe is not a single country and the different countries often have languages and cultures which are vastly different from each other. And I don't know that guy Sven from Gothenburg that you met 15 years ago in <laughs> As an American 21 YO who's been studying in Spain for the past few months, I've come to be able to accept the fact that I look American. T-shirts, shorts, bow shoes, bow shoes, and that people are going to stare at me on the metro no matter what I'm I... guessing them bow shoes are them Sperry's that people used to wear. Probably the Sperry's or maybe some Vans. Because I've been told Vans kind of look like bow shoes too. Shorts, bow shoes, and that people are going to stare at me on the metro no matter what I do. I've also come to be able to recognize other Americans off the streets. We just look different. It's hard to place why, but mostly from our very casual clothes. Spaniards dress rather formally. It sometimes bothers me when I feel obligated to put on something more than sweatpants just to go around to the corner store. Why oh, yeah, can't I just wear too. gym shorts and flip flops? Also, I can hear other Americans from across a plaza. I never realized we spoke so loudly. <laughs> we don't mean to be obnoxious. That is just our normal level of speaking. I consider myself a rather quiet and low-key guy, but sometimes I'll be speaking and then feel very shocked at how loud I sound. My voice will boom across the entire metro Dang. car or restaurant. I'm looking forward to returning to the states to see if everyone is actually just yelling at each other all the time. <laughs> As for the limited language knowledge, I myself speak English and Spanish. I agree that, yes, Americans have invented many modern technology and therefore modern terms are English. But many cooking and political terms tend to be French and Italian, and legal terms are still Latin. So I don't think that's an excuse for people to know English. It would have more to do with the globalization of today's world paired with American innovation. I'm sorry if that sounds pompous. pompous? The biggest reason I think that Americans don't speak many languages, though is that yes English is pretty standard across the globe. But we just don't have any reason to learn another language. We don't come into contact with people who don't speak English in the States. Many immigrants, yes, but not populations of people. During my travels in Europe, I see people in, say, Madrid who are British, Italian, mm. French, etc. Europeans like to be distinguished by their country of origin but they do travel across Europe with the same no barrier policy as Americans can travel in between states. Europeans speak many different languages and they are all interacting with each other constantly. You travel over a mountain and all of a sudden the language is completely <laughs> different. I can't imagine going from New York to Chicago and all of a sudden everyone speaks some different Germanic or Romanic language. If the US had never gone through the Louisiana Purchase, 
or had lost the Spanish American War. Maybe there would be a general American. knowledge among the populace of <laughs> French or Spanish. American. This is a lot to read. I just felt the need to add my two cents. Man, my, that was definitely not two cents. That was more 25 cents. G O O O O D J I R A B. I once saw an American family walking down a street in Stockholm passing a 2L bottle of coke between them Damn. in January. I crap you not. Well, at least they were sharing. <laughs> and 2L is usually cheaper than separate bottles. That's now, facts. if each one had a 2L, that would have been different. Till that European. That would have been different. Everybody had their own individual 2 liter, but other than that, they are cheaper than a regular coke. Now, if each one had a 2L, Till that Europeans think America is completely comprised of baby boomers. Well, <laughs> from the looks of it, they're the only ones with the money to afford a trip to any country in Europe. That's a fact. Remember that the taxes included on the price tags menus. You have been visited by the money bird. <laughs> It'll bring you good fortune, but only if you subscribe in 42 seconds or less. See? If you are new to the channel, you can now subs have to subscribe because of the money bird, but... Guys, that was good. That was good. Um, definitely gonna be interested when I visit Europe to see who who spot me. I know I do the YouTube videos already, but it's gonna be interesting to see uh, see if people know that automatically I'm an American. But you know, one of the main things that volume being loud. I don't know, cause I I know I'm I'm probably talking loud right now, and usually when it seems like my videos are not loud probably because I turned my mic down because I think I'm too loud or I think the video is too loud sometimes. But all in all, I think most of them didn't have nothing too bad to say. There are some videos like, I, I guess it's just when, you know, Americans say the dumb stuff. That's when it really gets like, oh, man. They, but somebody said it like that 10% kind of ruined it for everybody. You know, 90% of Americans that visit Europe, or not bad. It's that 10%. Please do not put me in the category of that 10%. You know, I know how some Americans can get. I do know I do know this, but that's all I have for this video. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Send me down those recommendations. And y'all be blessed, be the best, and be you. I'm out.